Good morning. It is Tuesday today. Welcome to another weekly vlog. We're filming early this week because I'm off on a little day out. I'm off out to this. From Field to Feed Forum with Denji. Um, and we're going to Highclere Castle. So I'm very excited. I think we've got a morning of feed talks by different experts, um, like nutrition talks and that kind of thing, which should be really interesting. I don't have a pony to feed at the moment, but it will still be really interesting. Um, and I think we're gonna see kind of, um, as the name suggests, from field to feed. So where the feed comes from and that kind of thing. And then I think we've got a tour around Highclere Castle, which is the Downton Abbey venue for any of you who aren't familiar. So my mum is insanely jealous because she loves Downton Abbey. And then after that, I think we've got lunch. Have I got a smudge? Don't know, is that a smudge? Maybe. So it should be a really nice day, something a little bit different. I'm slightly concerned because literally as I've been putting my makeup on, my sat nav ETA has been like going up and up and up. So I really do need to get going. Uh, I've got to get petrol first. Oh, look, my dog's upset because he's being left for the day. I'm not going to be late, Barney. That face. <laughs> Straight up the drive through the main gates. Slightly intimidating. Oh my god, I'm just walking up to the castle all, all on my own. <laughs> this is a little bit bizarre. Oh my god, I'm so late. I hope it's not going to be really embarrassing. I'm just taking a photo with my phone. Oh my gosh, this place. I don't even know what to say. You're keeping me company right now, so that I don't have to walk in on my own. <laughs> I'll show you, hang on. Look at it. Oh my gosh. Wow, just wandering up the driveway to the castle. This is such a bizarre situation. We've still got a ton of snow here. The parking attendant was very diligent about telling me to be careful as I go. <laughs> Hiya, I'm so sorry I'm late. Oh my gosh, it's hey. freezing. We weren't allowed to film or take any photos inside. I'm with Victoria and Holly Ella. <laughs> Um, yeah, oh, I feel like I had brain overload. That was insane. So we had the Denji talks first, um, which was all about like gastric ulcers and doping and feed, obviously. Um, so that was kind of brain overload anyway. And then the most knowledgeable woman in the world took us around the castle <laughs> and she knows her stuff. I know nothing because I didn't take any of it in. But um, yeah, it was really interesting. So now we're gonna go and have lunch and get warm because it's cold. <laughs> I'm just sitting in the car and just about to go home. Um, I'm so glad I got here. There was a point where um, it said it was gonna be another two hours until I got here and I was gonna turn around and go home because I didn't think that, oh God, that's bright. Um, I didn't think that I would get here soon enough and see enough of the event, but um, I'm so glad that I did come. And if you didn't get that, because it was all very rushed and we were freezing cold, that was Victoria Brandt from Diary of a Wimpy Eventer and Holly Ella, who runs In The Country magazine. Yeah, so I'm so glad those two were here because I didn't know anyone else and it was just really nice to kind of, we chatted a lot about blogging and about the industry and that kind of thing and um, just compared notes. I've spoken to them both a lot online. I've met Holly once, um, but I've never met Vic and we chat a lot online, so it was nice to meet her and yeah, have lunch with those guys. So I'm off home now. Hopefully it's not gonna take four hours. So I've just got home. I've just gone and put a cozier jumper on, taken my jewelry off. I just thought um, I didn't mention the goodie bag that we got. I'm about to make a cup of tea as well. Um, so I thought I would just go through the goodie bag. My skin's really bad. <laughs> My dog is very excited that I'm home. <gasps> what? 
What? What are you saying? Are you talking to me? Yeah. Uh, uh. What are you saying? <laughs> You're so funny. You're so funny. You want to look in the guinea bag, do you? Right, let's have a look, see what we've got in here then. This is my little lanyard with my name on it. Want to make someone feel special? Give them a lanyard with the name on it. Um, and then, what's this? Is this a notebook? Yes, a notebook. Yes, Barney, a notebook. I love a bit of stationery. Very nice. And then, oh, that was the invitation. Let me show you my address. That's not very intelligent of me, is it? High Clear Castle Rapeseed Oil. Oh, how nice. Oh, I like things like this. I can go in my kitchen. Looks very posh. Just got the castle on the front. Oh, grass pellets. If only I had a horse. <laughs> Soon. Watch this face. Superior oats, high clear castle horse feeds. Dengy pen. And what is this? Ah, oh, that's a good idea. A little dengy USB stick. I'm always losing USB sticks, so that's very handy. Barney, nothing for you. Fun fact, the fields that Denji farm in are behind my mum and dad's house. Oh, and also, fun fact number two, um, I took the picture on the healthy tummy bag. This is Lola or Kelly Thorpe's Moulin Rouge, and she is a friend's horse. She won the Cuddy at Hoy's um, when she was younger. I took that about six years ago. Good evening, it is Wednesday, and I'm in terrible light. Um, I've got a shoot today with Sam's girlfriend, Robin, who is a personal trainer. Results with Robin. Hi. Obviously, I haven't had any results with Robin. She hasn't Yet. trained me, so let's not judge her on that. <laughs> <laughs> today it's gonna to be another weekend purely of kind of moving house sort of stuff I thought I would just keep you in the loop because you know then you can follow along with us so uh, the situation in my living room or my dining room area is currently this um, we have a very large fridge freezer <laughs> which they had to take the front door off to get in um, and then we have a washing machine and a dishwasher that arrived the other day Barney's had a haircut this morning. Bon. Barney. <laughs> Everyone kept telling us he was fat and we kept saying it was because he was fluffy and he's still slightly fatter than I'd want him to be but he lost about two stone overnight, didn't you, Barn? <laughs> Need to sort of do that really now. Um, yeah, anyway, the rest of the house is pretty much as it was um, last time I filmed. So yeah, I'll just keep you up to date. We're gonna go upstairs and do a lot of packing upstairs. Uh, the other thing, Sam has gone out to B&Q this morning to try and get boxes because we need a lot more packing boxes. But B&Q have run out, so that is handy <laughs> because we need a lot. I think we need like 10. So now we're going to have to go to like the next town. I think we're going to go and have a look in like Braintree and if they don't have any, go to Colchester. Um, I don't know where else you get packing boxes. I'm going to ask on my family chat on WhatsApp and see if they've got any ideas. But yeah, otherwise um, everything's going to be in black bean bags. No, it's not really. And then the rest of the day is going to be spent packing. And then this afternoon or this evening, um, we are 
going to see my little nephew that's a bad light going to see my little nephew Alfie in his show which he's doing um, over in Brightlingsy so lots of packing and then an evening with the family we got boxes this is our current living situation <laughs> I don't think I've ever actually filmed up here I never film in our bedroom no. nope. Look, so these are all the ones we've done so far been bad game strong it's looking very bare can, get can I please interrupt your singing to vlog <laughs> um, we are in the car now on the way to Brightlingsea to watch Alfie's little show you had a good day what was the show actually about have you been told I know, I think it's a couple of things. So my little brother actually played, his first ever show was um, Mary Poppins and he played Michael. And then he was also Kurt on the, um, in The Sound of Music in the West End. And I know that Alfie is playing both Michael and Kurt. Kurt Von Trapp, is that right? Kurt, Kirk? Could go wrong. Don't really know. Why? Just what? Good. <laughs> I don't think it's gonna go wrong. It's gonna be amazing. Um, but yeah, so we are, we have got a lot done today, haven't we? We have. We've done very well. We've taken all the walking wardrobes down. Um, so yeah, it's been a productive day. So we're just having a little break now to go and watch this show, um, and then we'll crack on again tomorrow. <laughs> 